Morning folks, welcome to another episode of the Chronicles of a Farm Stay Startup here at the Hidden Spring Farm. Molly's chilling over there by the fire pit. We got a six guest booking here at the farm for two nights. So it's a nice little bonus for us as we go into this weekend. Just getting ready and come in and give these ducks some water and some feed, giving them some sunflowers now, sunflower seeds rather, and some little bit of chicken scratch that has seeds and stuff in it too. So let's just uh, see how these fellows are doing. You can see these ducks are getting so bloody huge. They're they're stretching out their their feathers. I don't know if they're called like flight feathers or what's the deal. But they're still pretty scared. I can't get within 10 feet of them. And they're like, you know what they remind me of? You remember the uh, the Muppets character, Beaker? Because their necks are so long and then they just go meh, meh. Look at them. They're bloody characters. Molly? You okay? Molly? Come here. Come here. Come here. You okay, love? You alright? She just uh, had her second vaccinations at the vet this morning. And uh, she just kind of barfed. I think, uh, you know, maybe it, it doesn't make her feel too well, that uh, second round of vaccinations. She was really yakking a minute ago. This is that I'm making noise like this. Poor thing. She toughed it out though. She did so well over there at the vets. She didn't cry, she didn't whine, she was she was great. But I'm just trying to give her some peace today to recover. Thank you. 
Morning people. Just getting set up here to start working on my quack house. We just had a guest check out at 11 o'clock and uh, I got to get working here because I only got a small window. So I'm just looking for some some washers for my lag bolts. I know I didn't buy any washers because for what I know I had washers but now of course I don't see any washers. Maybe this size will work. I know this size will work. Stuck! Stuck! How am I going to get that out? Okay, I got what I need, I think. Turn the light off. I got what I need. I've got these washers for my things. Um, if I pull this over there, I bet you that's going to fall. You can see, I'm just getting myself all set up. Just getting myself all set up. I got to continue working on that. It's basically the, the joist and the base for this sucker. Big things happen in here at the Hidden Spring Farm. I just got to bring my big compound miter saw. It's brand new. I just bought it. It's a DeWalt sliding. I'll show you it to you in a minute. Look at this pooch. Look at this pooch. You having a rest under there, kid? Huh? You having a nap? Look at these bear paws. Look at these bear paws. They're huge. Oh my, okay, go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. Okay, let me see if I can just pick this up. Drag this over there. Ooh, it's heavier than I thought. It's not really far from my shop, so I mean, I don't have a trailer or anything like that that I can use to. I gotta muscle it over here. It's a good thing I got this little this little cart, like a, a saw stand. It's a pain in the pain in the ass, but what are you gonna do? Okay, let's get this in line. So like I was saying, I got this this new saw. This just flips up and then this little thing you can untie this and that's what basically allows this to slide so you're allowed to it allows you to do like a long piece of wood I'm not sure how why I think it's I think it allows you to cut a 12 inch plank so it's pretty good it was pretty expensive though. This thing was uh, $800, this saw. Uh, I'm hoping that I'll never have to buy another miter saw for the rest of my life, because that's a pretty hefty investment just for a saw. Um, but I really needed it. I have a lot of projects here, and my old saw was just not gonna cut it. It didn't have enough amps even. So, I invested in a decent saw for once in my life. So you can see I'm using two by tens as my floor joist for this quack house. It's 
It's going to be a pretty solid structure just for a, a duck hut. I mean, um, but go big or go home. That's what I always say. I'm just putting these, these temporary brown screws in. These are deck screws so they won't rust. Um, I'm just putting them temporary in and then I'll put the big lag bolts in. And um, I did these 16 inches on center. So basically every 16 inches. So when I put my four by eight sheet of plywood on top, it's gonna line up perfectly. Or so they say. guy have you ever seen a spider like that is that dangerous i don't think i've ever seen a spider like that here in ontario where did he go look at that it looks like he's got these big honking claws sorry for the unsteady camera this is uh, on my phone. Oh yeah, he's ready to pounce. Look at him. If anybody knows what kind of spider that was, let me know. He's just hanging around. I don't like killing things, but if it's like poisonous, if it's gonna bite me, you never know with bloody spiders. Usually up in here in Canada and Ontario and whatnot, there's no poisonous things, but you might get a little swelled bump or something. Who knows? If anybody knows what that is, let me know, please, in the comments. I'm desperate. I'm just going to come in here and grab my mule. Got to get some more hay to put in the duck's hut. They've ground it all into the soil again. Crazy ducks. Molly's in here with me getting some crickets again. Molly, crickets taste good. I can't believe my pup loves crickets. How you doing ladies and gentlemen? Oh man, you guys are big. What a bunch of big guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna get ready to change out the bedding in that brooder because it's kinda ripe. So bad. It smells so bad. What do you guys want? Why are you coming over here? Did you miss me? 
Hello, ladies. Did you miss me? <laughs> Hello, baby. Did you miss me? Look at these beautiful things. Look at them. Aren't they amazing? Look at the colors on their wings. It's incredible. Huge jungle. Look, I just turned my back for one minute to fill up their feet and look. Those two black leghorns, they're right on top of the chest. Finally, I caught one of the black leghorns, one of these little road runners. I cornered him in there. He, this guy didn't want to get caught. Look at the size of his comb. It's huge. 
Just calm down, love. Just calm down, love. Huh. There's like a little, a little patch of featherless spot there. Is that normal? Oh, it's so big. Look at this thing down here. What the hell's this? Look at the size of the feet. Look. She, he's beautiful. So black. Got a couple of white feathers still tucked away in there. I'm guessing that they're gonna they're gonna still fall out. Uh oh, he's whoa, 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 whoa! Sorry. Get Nancy. Anyways, at least I got a good shot of the one of the leghorn, the black leghorn roosters. That was awesome. Finally, I caught him. I always seem to get the white ones. They're a bit more slower. But the black ones are like little road runners. They just meet and they take off. Come on, chickadees. Get off the brick. Chickadees, get off the brick. Come on. Oh, they're starving. They're so thirsty. Look at these guys. They're so thirsty. Get their their feed. left. I don't really need to feed them, but I'm coming back again tomorrow morning after these guests are out. And uh, they're checking out at 11, 11 a.m. and there's no other guests checking in. I blocked off a couple days because I want to work on my quack house. And any little bit of time I have to make some noise with the saw. I have to make some noise with the compressor and bolting and screwing, so I don't really want to do that when the guests are here, because that's not the peaceful, tranquil stay that I promised. Look at this pasture, it's so beautiful. Look at this, lots of birds out there. All you hear is crickets. Now then I'm just going to go and say goodnight to these chickens. You guys all laying down to sleep? Don't everybody all shout at once. Hold on, I'll give you some more scratch for the night.
Look at this girl. Look at her. She's gonna re ready to pounce. My darling and I are just sitting out here by the fire trying to enjoy a nice night under the stars with some s'mores. Mmm, so good. I only had two though, I promise. Just heard a little bit of crowing from the barn. It's like 9.30 at night. I want to go see what it is. I mean, I know what it is. I just want to see what these chickens are up to never really come out here at night. I just usually leave them alone. Hello, chickens. How you doing? Whoa, why you guys are flying? All is well, I guess. They're just they're just practicing their crowing. I think the way it worked out, remember in earlier episodes when I got these guys, I got six and six. And then you remember one of the light Sussexes passed away, sadly. But I think the way it worked out is of the five light Sussexes left, we have two roosters and three hens. And I'm only judging based on the comb. Then the black leghorns, it looks like one, two, three. It looks like three roosters and three hens. So that's a 50-50 mix. I think that's normal. And of course, in the brooder over there, we got the Rhode Island Reds. Those Rhode Island Reds in that brooder over there, when I bought those, I bought 12 hens and one rooster. So we already know the mix. Okay, night, night, people. Evening, folks. What do you think of that quack house build? It's coming along great, isn't it? I'm super excited about it. It's coming along really good. Really good. Yep, been busy all day today. My wife and I have been cleaning up the house after the guest. A lot of cleaning, a lot of things to do to get prepped for the next guest. But the good thing is, we have like steady bookings. So that's just for us being, you know, operating just for, I guess, like a week. You know, we have pretty full bookings. As you saw, I was on duck duty for a while. I was on chicken duty for a while. My wife and I had a campfire and uh, it was a really, really good night. We ended up staying there overnight because tomorrow there's, uh, there's a day in between guests and I want to work on my quack house. <sighs> Molly's feeling a lot better. I know earlier she, uh, she wasn't feeling that great after going to the vet, but she's back to her old silly self. Whatever you guys do, don't forget 
to hit that subscribe button. And I just want to give my apologies for the audio in this video. I had some uh, few difficulties there and uh, obviously you don't know when you're doing your filming and production. You only find out when you're doing the editing that the audio sucks. So I'm working on that. I got another little gizmo order. Hopefully it'll be better by the next episode.